next up, Veronica Green. Love that. Another fishtail dress. It's like a cocktail dress. So maybe I'm feeling the fishtail this year because I criticize fishtails. I criticize drag queens for constantly going for that silhouette. But this year I'm living for it because you're really bringing it out and turning it out and making it very, very different. So well done, the UK queens. You're getting a pass from me. I'm sorry, but these year queens are so much better. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't because, see the last year. Well, the first season of UK Drag Race was so disappointing. Mm -hmm. I feel this year will be. This is it. The queens are turning it out. But come yeah. on, it's, it's like watching like the Canada one was so much better than the UK one. I was like, what the hell? But let's look at the first drag race in general. Like the first ever one, which I've seen on Netflix. Yeah. That looked like a car crash. That looked like me trying to wear a dress. Yeah. But that looked like me wearing a dress. Which well, is that was 13 dress, years so. ago. Yeah, well, okay, fine. So I'm 13 years old. Um. So this is... What's that character from Black... Uh, Black Man? Batman, is it Ivy or something? Oh. She looks like Ivy from that from that movie. She does look like Ivy. But mm. well, she also looked like what's her face? Corny out. If you put a blonde wig, she mm. looks like Corny no, out. No, I mean, face, as the lips. The... She's got a very fishy face, so I'll be curious to see how she looks as a boy because she is pulling it off as a girl. Um, I like to see skin. Here's the skin. I like to see diamonds. Here are the diamonds. This is a very female look. This is the kind of look that I like. I love the drop neck. I love the accentuation of the boobs. I love the gloves. I mean, this is high glamour. This is what I'm living for. Again, not going to beat Sherry, but boy, is she beating Sherry for you? Well, I like this more. Really? Yeah. It's because it's got velvet in it. That's why you like it. <laughs> no, but I would, I would probably give her a second. Just so like, then the second. No, no, no I would still give. Third, then the third become four. No, I would still put that white outfit on second. Mm. And I put her on third. Mm. And then the blue was on four. Yeah. Like I just love this, and I hate green. I just hate green. I don't get the point of green. But you are making me love green. I'm it green so with good. envy. And if I look at the construction, flawless. Yeah. The the ruffles. The ruffles. Mm. I'm not sure how they done here in the middle, the bottom. But I feel it's I feel it's because from the picture it's really good, attractive. Mm. I just love it. I think she's done really, really well. I'm curious mm. to see how she's gonna do on the show. Well we shall wait and see. Yeah. So, I think we've all decided... Is that the last contestant? That was the last Fabulous. contestant. So, the winner for me is Sherry. Who's the winner for you? So, mm, I feel I will... Do you know what? I'll say Sherry. So, we're both going with Sherry. So, Sherry is the winner for us. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Can we go back to... Is it sister, sister or whatever her name Sister, is? sister. So, what? Sister, sister. Uh, Pip the dog is the best one. What's this lady's name? Oh yeah, that one. Sister, sister. Is that so her name? So she is the last one. So no, I'm just going to say, even though she's in my bottom, <laughs> which explains the lips. Yeah. Um, I really am curious to see what you're going to pull out and I can't wait to do this show again next because I have a feeling I'm going to have changed my mind. I'm going to be eating my words. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what everybody does. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's going to be more interesting when we've seen the show and we've met the girls because I find their personality takes over with me and I kind of like people yeah so I'm a little bit more forgiving with the people I like so this is the only genuine time like you're going to see me where I've seen a picture and I'm making a judgment about it. Yeah. Just based on fashion. So my, what's your top three then? So my top three is Sherry. Yeah. The lady with the green dress and the lady with the white dress. So Tyrese, whatever. So, so it's Tice, Tice, Tice and Veronica and Sherry. And Veronica. Yeah. My top three would be, so Sherry number one, Veronica number two, and... 
I'll probably say the same tie as number three. Although I like this one better. What's her face? No, but you Astina. see, I think construction-wise and creativity-wise, ties to Yeah, definitely. Without being disrespectful, I feel like Miss Mandela, as I'm going to call her, mm. that could have been bought off the rack. Yeah. Like, that looks like a hoodie that I've seen out, like, in a boutique in London. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Just, not, I don't want to be rude about it, but that's kind of what I've seen, whereas with everybody else's... Mm. I don't think anything is off the off the rack apart from Ginny's maybe jacket which I may have seen online and want to purchase myself yeah. well so this is up our first UK drag race impressions yeah so we'll see what happens next week can't wait to watch the show yeah and then as soon as we've watched it we will come back to you and give you our feedback and thoughts about everything um yeah. i hope you're all watching season 30. season 13 of RuPaul drag race because if you're not i'm going to give you a minute to catch up and we'll talk about it another time but it yeah. is to insane. die for it's insane we will talk about that later in mm. another episode exactly Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.